I do want to go get more colors now because these are the wigs we need to rush out the house. These are the wigs that we need to hurry up and get ready. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Miss Chrissy. That's Chrissy with a K. Today, I am reviewing a wig for you guys. That is a closure. It's a closure synthetic wig. Actually, it's a synthetic blend, but this new wig right here from Outre. I'm excited because I already filmed the video and I already put on the wig and it's a vibe. I'm going to tell y'all how I feel about this wig. I'm going to show you this natural color and I'm also going to show you this chocolate swirl color. But before we jump into it, y'all know the drill. I do a lot of wig content on this channel and if you want to stick around, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you're going to come back. Give this video a thumbs up for me because it pushes me out. Let's jump into it. Long for that feeling Why did it have to go away? out the house but what's new this is the outre 5x5 lace closure wig this is a human hair blend wig and i have the style body curl 24 inches this is the dr2 chocolate swirl color i'm gonna wrap it up with the natural color because that's the color i kind of want to wear going out the house so let's jump into some specs so I already reviewed the straight one. If you haven't seen that review, check it out right here. I pretty much feel the same way I felt with that one, but I like this one better. So if you didn't watch that review, just a few specs. This is a five by five lace closure wig, guys. What that means is you're just getting lace pretty much right here. It's a closure. You're not gonna get lace all the way down because it's just a closure. You can part this closure any way you like. I chose to go in the middle. The black one, I'm gonna part it to the side, so stay tuned for that. This is a hand-tied lace wig. So the knots on this wig are really thin and they look really realistic. The lace on this wig, again, I said it with the straight one, the lace is phenomenal. Oh really? It comes with an elastic band and the cap feels really good. So I did install this wig glueless. This is a first for me. Um, I don't know how I feel about this glueless thing, y'all. I'm, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I feel like I'm in a scary movie right now. Sometimes your wig slides back and nobody tells you. But this is what you guys want. This is what a lot of people are doing right now. So I was like, let me try it. So I did go in with my lot of body setting mousse on the front just to kind of secure it. I mean, I don't know if it's because of <laughs> me putting this color mousse on the front to match it, but... It's, it's not secure. It's I don't know if it's just because of the lot of body. I, I didn't use the right mousse. I don't know. It is laying flatter. I must say that. It is flatter and it is looking a little bit more melted, if that makes sense. So I guess I can see why people do that. But 
for me, I, I'm not too sure how I feel about that one. Now, with that said, I do suggest that you go in with some bobby pins. Definitely use some bobby pins on this wig if you're going to do this glueless effect because you can't be sliding. It's about to be hot outside. I went and took some pictures. These pictures are fire. Follow me on Instagram and you can check out the pictures. But with the heat and the sweat and all of that, I don't know. Y'all comment below if you guys are doing glueless or you're doing a little bit of security. I'm really curious to see what people like and what they're doing. Just go in with some bobby pins and it'll be fine. This is a closure wig. This is a pretty much plop and go wig, so I get it. You wanna plop it, you wanna go. It works. It works for that effect of doing glueless. The texture on this wig is more on the silkier side. I did say that with the straighter yakky one that I reviewed earlier a couple days ago. I don't know how these videos drop, but the texture is a little bit more on the silkier side, but this is a human hair blend, so it feels really soft. It's feeling real human hair-like. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the black color and give you guys some pros, some cons, and then wrap this video up, because we gotta go. Okay, my friends, this is... Y'all, it's so much noise in my house. Like, it's a struggle to film for me. Like, it's a constant struggle when we're getting through. We're getting through. <laughs> all the noise, all the kids, all the husbands. Anyway, this is the black one. So this is the color number two. I went ahead and put it to the side for y'all and I installed it off camera because like I told y'all, I have to go. I installed this wig pretty much the same way I install all my wigs. I went in with my OG bedhead spray. Y'all know how I feel about this. I went in with bed head and then I did go in and I melted it a little bit with this Ebon melting spray. I realized that this is good for like melting after you secure it, I think personally. I just went in right here with the Ebon to melt it down. And then what else did I do? What did I do? I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out because I'm Russian. <laughs> okay, slow down, slow down. Woosa, woosa, I'm already late. Then I did put a little bit of powder in the parting space. I used this because I saw, I can't remember who I saw use this, but I'm gonna look it up and I'll put it right here. That's who I saw use it and she swears by it. So I was like, okay, let me try something new. But it does tip the lace pretty good. I still needed to go in with a little bit of powder, so I'm not too sure how I feel about that mousse. Anyway, so let's jump into the cons and the pros. So the con, the only con that I have with this wig Hmm, what con do I have with this wig? I'm not too sure I have any cons with this wig. I must say that I do like it. It is shedding just a little bit. It's not shedding as bad as some synthetic wigs that I have tried recently, but it is shedding just a little bit. And it is a little thinner. Like I think I feel in my tracks, but I don't see any. <laughs> but I am feeling it. It is just like the straight one that I reviewed earlier. Check that video out right here. It is a little on the thinner side, but to jump into a pro, because this is a body curl wig, it's working. It looks fuller than it really is, but this is the density of this wig. It's thinner, but it looks fuller, if that makes sense, because of the curls. I did not have to pluck this wig, and it looks really good. It is melting. Utre's listening. Utre's listening. I love the fact that this wig is already curled. Like, I am rushing. I am rushing. This wig is already curled for me. So, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I like the fact that this is a closure. Again, I secured right here. And that's pretty much what I do sometimes with my wigs anyway. So, I'm digging that. I like the fact that I didn't have to secure all the way down because sometimes I feel like on the sides it pulls on my edges. I don't know, y'all comment below and let me know how y'all feel about like a whole 13 lace frontal. But I love the fact that it's just a five by five. Like this is a get up and go wig. I did use a little bit of heat on this only with shaping it and getting it in the right position, but this wig is so soft. It feels so good that you you really don't need a lot. You don't need a lot with this wig. This wig is very beginner friendly. I wish I had wigs like this when I first started cuz you are jumping into wigs and you want to try more lace options, get a closure. This is perfect. I love the fact that it's a human hair blend. I'm definitely going to go in and shampoo this wig when I'm done with my brandy wine shampoo and conditioner. Y'all know how I feel about that and I do feel like this wig is gonna bounce back I have used that on human hair blends before and it definitely does bounce back I am getting a little bit of tangles but that's kind of expected go on with your serum and your synthetic wig spray I do definitely suggest getting some of this Garnier Fruity serum because I do feel like it helps with gliding your hands through these wigs get your products I tell y'all all the time use a little bit of serum use a little bit of wig spray and just maintain the wig because that's kind of what you have to do with these type of wigs. I mean, that's true. It is what it is. It did brush out pretty good and I, 
I do like the curls on this. Now, this wig is really long. It is 24 inches, but it's coming off a little bit longer to me. This is what it's looking like in the front. Like in the back, it is definitely much longer. So I'm definitely going to cut this wig a little bit when I'm done with it. Probably cut it like right here because I feel like it's just a little bit too long. But overall, I think this is a, a great wig. You can wear it glueless if you like, like I did in the beginning, or you can secure it if you need to secure it like me. If I did have to pick like the straight or this body curl one, this one right here, I'm definitely feeling hands down. Y'all check my Makari link below cause I might be selling the brown one and the straight one. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna see, but I don't keep my wigs. I do sell my wigs after I review them. If you're not new here, I do sell them. I just need to update that Makari link. And last, I do love the fact that they did not jack up the price on this wig. This wig is like $45 on wig types, I think. It's a plus. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this wig. I think Outre nailed it with this one. I'm happy. I do wanna see it a little bit thicker, but it's a start. This wig is definitely a vibe. I do wanna go get more colors now, cause these are the wigs we need to rush out the house. These are the wigs that we need to hurry up and get ready. <laughs> Drop some comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye!